Hello YouTube, I am Postman713, and you are watching Let's Play with Post, Minecraft. We're going to jump right in, I'm going to show you how you can survive in Minecraft. Let's start a new world, let's call it uh, YouTube World. That's going to be survival, and... We're going to have cheats off. We don't want to cheat. We're going to do it legit. And we can leave the rest of the things and create new world. And here we go. It's going to take a second to build a terrain. And here we go. Yes, we are in a Tangia Hills biome. Oh, I see some sheep. Not really useful. You can use them for uh, some food if you want. Uh, we can punch them. Takes a while to kill them. But you will get raw mutton and wool. Not much, but we are on top of a hill. Nice little hill here. Oh, and I see some cows. Cows are good for meat and leather. This would probably be actually I see. I see a pumpkin. Get some water here. <clears throat> These are some nice hills to mine in. Punch, you want to punch this grass here to get some wheat seeds. And then we'll grow wheat, which is, well, we'll need it later for food and, um, to feed, uh, feed cows, wheat, and also sheep in order to have them repopulate. Yes, I did see pumpkins. We're just going to grab a couple. Okay. That's a good looking cave. You can hop down in some caves to, uh, it's a good way to find some iron and coal. Sometimes gold. And what you want to do is we're going to need wood. We have to have wood in order to craft and build. So you just go up to a tree and punch it. Hold down, hold down your mouse button until it, until the bot block breaks. And sometimes with the oak trees, you can punch the leaves, and sometimes you'll get apples. Well, it's not very often that you get them. That's why I said sometimes. So. Okay, uh, I'm not going to waste time on that. Okay. This could be a nice place for a house. So... Hmm. Anyways, you hit E, and you'll go into your uh, menu here. You can take the oak wood up to your crafting you got four slots uh, without the crafting table. Let's make oak wood planks. Just make them all planks. And then you can take four oak planks, craft that into a crafting table, put it down here on your hot bar, and then you can take the crafting table, plop it down using the right mouse button, and then 
click right mouse again, and then you can then you have uh, a three by three crafting table, and there you can make um, other stuff where you couldn't make in the four in the two by two. So we can take two planks to make sticks, and you'll need sticks to make tools and torches. Take two sticks in the middle, and let's see here, three planks there to make an axe, and then you can cut down the wood faster. Now I'm making this tool with just wood, and you can make it with stone instead, but to get stone, we'll need a pickaxe, uh, three planks on top and two sticks to make a wooden pickaxe. And then we can go get some stone down here. And when you mine the stone, it turns into cobblestone. right there. And then you'll use the cobblestone and sticks to make stone tools. And the stone tools are more durable and um, they, they just work better because they're stone and not wood. And the stone tools can mine other stuff you can't with the wood tools like uh, iron and take uh, two sticks here take three cobble make a stone pickaxe as you can see it's much faster that's a more efficient way and if you don't like if you don't like the speed of the stone axe, so you can make gold axes, you can make iron axes, which is even faster and more efficient. And then you can find diamonds and make diamond tools, which are more, much more efficient and much more durable. But you'll have to mine for diamonds, which are a little, uh, little harder to get. But, um... Our next goal would be to get iron. So we can just, well, let's make a chest, eight planks around the circle. We'll make you a chest. Just plop it down here, and then you can store items like this stuff that we really don't need on hand right now. Let's get a little more wood, and there's several different types of wood now. There's oak, there's birch, there's um, spruce, jungle, and uh, before it gets dark, we want to build a shelter, because you don't want to be outside. Um, when it gets dark and you don't have anything to protect yourself with. Speaking of which, let's make a sword. Let's just make a bunch of sticks. We're going to need them. A sword is one stick on bottom. You take two cobble, put them in the middle like that, and you'll get a stone sword. I like to put them over here on the hotbar, where I can easily get them, get to them. Um, yeah, that first one here, you can just press one and it'll select it, and then two, three, like three is my sword. So it's uh, the hotkeys will be easy, like if you, unless you want to scroll with your mouse. 
your uh, middle mouse button. You can scroll through them or just hit the number. Hitting the number is much more uh, quicker. So we're going we're also gonna need food because uh, right down here um, above the hot bar, this is your hunger indicator. And then on the left, that's your health indicator. So right now we have full health and full hunger. But uh, if we get hurt, the health will go down. And then over time, the hunger will go down and we'll need to eat to bring it up. If it goes all the way down, it'll kill you. And then here in the middle, we have the XP, the XP bar. And when you kill things, like the sheep, they put out these little XP balls, and then you collect those, and then your XP goes up. And then when the bar gets full, it'll go up one level. Let me show you here real quick. Yep, level one. And then uh, what you do with those levels is you, uh, you can... Um, what you do with those levels is you use those levels to enchant uh, books or tools or weapons and stuff like that. And it's getting pretty dark uh, now, so let's hurry up and build a shelter. Real quick. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, just uh, something to uh, protect us. Let's build it around our stuff here, our chest and crafting table. It's getting dark quick, so. Um, and why we want to build a shelter is because mobs are going to spawn outside and they will kill you, so. Okay, just four walls and roof, and then let's build a door with three on this side, three in the middle. Put the door up like that, and then we want a light inside, or else they will spawn inside. So we need a we need a torch, which we need a furnace the first town. Oh, and we can we can burn uh, logs with oak planks. You can burn the oak planks in the furnace to, and uh, you can burn the logs to make charcoal. Oh, it needs more planks. And to make a torch, one stick, one charcoal or coal will make you four torches and you can just plop them on the wall. Now the furnace you use to smelt, um, you smelt uh, iron, food, Anything that needs smelting. Now, it's not very efficient to use oak planks to smelt. Because it will take a lot of planks, and you don't want to do that that way. Because it will take forever. If you use charcoal or coal, it's much more efficient. With the, with the planks, you get maybe, you can smelt maybe one thing. With uh, charcoal, I think it's like seven. With coal, it's like eight. So I just cooked my raw mutton into cooked mutton. And then now we can eat that, but we're not hungry right now. <clears throat> there we go, I cooked all my mutton. And let's put the torches over here. See, it's 
it's still there's still a fire in there, so I could I could smell something else, but I really don't need to right now. Oh, here's one more. Let's put that in there. I don't need that wool or the doors or the saplings. Okay. Now you can you can venture out of your house at night if you want to. But uh, it's not really a good idea right now. Just kind you can just kind of hunker down in here or you can go you could go mining. It's a little it's a little dangerous. Um at the moment. Uh what we want to do is get some iron armor that will help protect us by not getting as much damage when um, mobs attack us. So you'll have your your, hat, your helmet, your chest plate, leggings, and boots. Um, another thing, if you don't know all the crafting recipes, uh, just recently, they did an update which added a crafting book. And as you can see over here, like if you want to craft a wooden pickaxe, it'll do it for you. And you just have to, uh, let's do a shovel. It'll put the rest, uh, it'll put your recipes from your inventory into the crafting. And then all you have to do is Click on the stone shovel, bring it down. And the ones without the red outline are ones you are able to craft with the, the items in your inventory. So like if I want to make some stairs or trap door or button or whatever. <clears throat> Make a sign. Put the sign up over right here. And then you can type some text in. Postman. Some thirteens. And then hit enter to go to the next line. House. And then hit done when you're done. There you go. You just made a sign. Okay, still dark. Still dark. You can see the stars. Okay. You probably don't want to do what I'm what, what, what I'm gonna do, because it is dark. And I don't see hostile mobs right around here. If you're gonna go out, I suggest you stay close to your house. So in case anything does attack you, you could run and hide. I see a creeper over there. Creepers are nasty mobs. If you get too close to them, they will explode. They will kill you, and they will blow up anything in their blast radius. With a stone, with a stone sword like I have now, it's going to take like four or five hits to kill them. So I don't really want to go after him right now. And just gotta keep an eye out. There's a skeleton right there. I could probably kill a skeleton. 
with no armor. They do uh, they do shoot arrows at you, which do hurt you. They can shoot them from a great distance. So it's good to have armor and maybe a bow and arrow <laughs> to shoot back. Okay. I have some torches, so what we can do is we can start mining. And just every so often put a torch on the on the ground or the walls of the cave. And if you light up the cave good enough, mobs will not spawn. Here's some coal. I'm gonna get this coal. Coal's good for making torches and smelting. Now this cave did not go far, so that's probably all we're going to get from this cave. There was another cave that I saw that had iron. And iron's good. Okay, that's good for now. I know where it is if I need more. That's that's dirt, that's grass with the the green tops. This is all stone. And then down here you have this is andesite. No, that's granite. There's granite, andesite, and diorite, that's andesite. Yeah. And those are good for uh building materials. Alright, oh, 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 it's daylight. Let's get out of this cave. And there's some sand. We'll need sand for glass. It's good to have windows in a house, right? Unless, uh, unless you don't want to see outside of your house. Let's finish cutting this tree. I can't stand trees that are just uh, cut on the bottom and then the middle is just left there. This drives me crazy. That actually spawned like that. That's weird. Okay. Oh, now, as if you can see, our little hunger bar is diminished a little bit. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the little portion right there, that means we're getting a little hungry. But we're fine. We're not in any immediate danger. If it gets, I think, uh, down to the last three or four, then you can no longer run. And you run by holding down control and then walking. And you'll you'll go a little faster. Oh, there you can see it. The full first one is now gone. And then in order to eat, just select your food, hold down right click. There you go. Fills up your hunger. I'm going to go ahead and grab this. This is sugar cane. And we'll need it for um, books, to make books or, or uh, sugar in some uh, food recipes. Here's a red mushroom. That's about only good for mushroom soup, which I don't don't ever make, so I just grabbed it just because. Of that. And when it's daylight, you can you can just go around and explore, um, but it's pretty important you know how to get back. So, and to get back, we go in that direction. That's where our old house is. Uh, 
I'm just gonna go around and see what I can see. And we survived our first night, so <sighs> you just go out, you mine, you explore, get materials, get stuff you're gonna need, grow some food, hunt hunt some food. Whatever you need to do to survive. If you don't survive and you do die, you will respawn, but you will respawn where we spawned it when we went to the game, when we created the game, which uh, was almost where our house is. So if we do die, then we'll know how to get back to the house. Um, and when you do die, your items that you had on you in your inventory will just drop where you died. So if you went off exploring and you die, that's where your items will be dropped. And if you went far, then you're going to have to travel back to get your items. Ooh, chickens. Kill the chicken. Good for food and feathers. And feathers will need four arrows. You also need flint for arrows. And flint you can get from um, pigs. Ooh, pigs. Flint you'll get from gravel. And the pigs are just useful for food, basically. Well, and if you have, if you have a saddle, you could ride a pig. But uh, other than that, they're pretty useless. Okay. I'm getting a little off track here. I, I know where I'm going. I just didn't go this way. And I believe over this hill to get back. Which It'd be a little tricky. There we go. Get all hungry again. Okay. We're just gonna kill this one too for food. Food. And oh, we could make a bed. Yeah, I was going to say, if um, if you did build your house far from where you spawned to begin with, then you're going to want you're gonna want to make a bed. And when you use the bed, that will allow you to respawn where you built the bed, when you, where you built the bed and then lay down in the bed at night. And then that sets your your home to that bed. Oh. Okay. Right, we can place it right here. Nice little bed. So if you try and sleep right now, you can only sleep at night. Which is weird because some people take naps or they work during the, the night and sleep during the day so that's just a minecraft thing okay now until we go to bed at night it's not going to set our home here yet let's cook the rest of this food uh, we got chicken pork chops and mutton so we we should be good on food for now and in the meantime we can start growing some wheat so we're gonna need a little farm which we can put right next to the water here 
And to farm, we're going to need a hoe. Let's make a stone hoe. Right there. And you just take the hoe. And let's put it over here. You right click with the hoe to till the land. And then you just take the seeds, right click the seeds onto the tilled land. Just like that. And over time, they'll grow up. And as, when they're done growing, you'll just harvest them and you'll have wheat. But it's, it's going to take a little bit of time for them to grow. So we're just going to plant them and leave them. Now, they grow with sunlight. So if you want them to keep growing, you can plant some torches around them. So at night, they'll keep growing. Or if you want to grow them inside, like inside a building, you'll need torches. Or if you grow them underground... And the mobs, they spawn um, certain, it's different for every mob. So, like, a zombie will spawn so many blocks from a light source, being it a torch, the sun, or, like, glowstone, or any other light source. And so, the sun will kill mobs, except for creepers. The sun does not kill creepers. So after night, the the zombies will burn up in the sun, the skeletons will burn, and the creepers will stay. So if you stay the night in your house and you come out... It's getting dark now. So we'll hop in and right-click on the bed. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fast forward through the night, and then when it's done, it'll kick you out of the bed, and it's daylight. And as I was just saying, watch out for creepers, because the sun does not kill them, so they stay out here. You just have to watch your back. Now we could also take that pumpkin and let's make pumpkin seeds. So that was the second night. We survived the second night. Take the pumpkin seeds, plant them. As you can see, this one's grown a little bit and that one too. Oh, you know what? The pumpkins need a uh, dirt block or maybe a sand block next to them in order to grow. So we need, like for this one, the pumpkin will grow here. And that one will grow there. So we need to put this one somewhere else. Let's just put it here. And... Um, it seemed to have disappeared. That's weird. Did I drop it? I don't know what happened to it. Okay. Anyways. But after it goes, we'll see. Uh let's let's get some iron. Where's this is the cave that had iron. See it right there. It's right there. And we'll just make, uh, use your shovel to dig through grass and gravel. And your pickaxe for heavier stuff. Do that so we can get back up. Mine this iron. Like I said, with a stone pickaxe or better. It won't work with a wooden. 
get this one too. Oh, there's more. Okay, we got 13. It's a good start. We can make some tools. Iron tools. And what we're going to do is we're going to just uh, put them in here and smelt them. Should put the whole thing in there. By holding down shift and clicking on the stack, it'll just move that whole stack to up to the furnace. And likewise, if you go over to uh, like this coal and I hold down shift and click, it'll move all of them. If you do, if you uh, go over to a stack and you right click, it's going to take half half of what's there, and then you can move. Otherwise, you can take the whole stack and move it manually. The hold down shift and click, it does it instantly picking it up and then moving it and then if you right click it'll drop one at a time got some iron let's craft uh, let's craft some uh, an iron pickaxe replace that with the stone Let's do an iron sword. Place that with the stone sword. So we don't need these right now. I like to keep them in a chest just in case I die. And then I have them as backup. Instead of having nothing. I uh, really don't need an sh iron shell right now. So, let's see, six, seven, eight, that'll give me enough for a chest plate. Let's make iron chest plate. Go to your inventory. And take your iron chest plate, put it in your chest plate slot. And there you go. We we now have an iron chest plate, and now we have a new bar down here. This is your armor bar. We have uh, three. And as you put on more armor, that'll go up. And then you'll be more protected. If you you can change your view, this is just your first person sh uh, view here. If you hit F5, it'll kind of be behind you like that. Just a different kind of viewpoint. If you hit it again. And it'll show you from the front like that and if you hit it again it'll go back to where it was all right now uh, we still grown we can cook the rest of this food I could go up against some mobs now. I got an iron chest plate and an iron sword. So we could go at night. Hmm. Still probably wouldn't suggest it. Unless you're uh, more experienced with the game.
Okay, get that last one there. There we go. Okay, now let's. You could build a, another furnace if you're getting backed up on smelting. Let's smelt some sand. We'll get some glass. We could build a better house, um, but we'll need more wood or stone. We'll just grab some more wood here, clear this area a bit, and when you when you cut down a tree. If you get if you get all the tree logs, the leaves will uh, just um, oops. <laughs> I just fell down on a little hole here. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, as I was saying, the leaves will just um, just disappear over time because there's there's no tree there to hold them up. So. And if you cut down one tree, and if there's another tree next to it, and the leaves are touching, if you don't cut down another tree, the uh, some of these leaves will stay. But eventually, I think they will disappear for that tree. But if you if you just want to clear all this, you don't have to hit each each leaf block so just make sure you get all the tr the tree logs and it'll, the rest will disappear uh, it seems to be getting dark again Can't, oh, there's the sun is over there. It's setting, so yes, it's getting dark. And the sun does it does come up and over and down, just like a real sun would. If you hit F3, it'll bring up a the menu of data. And this data tells you uh, how many frames per second you're getting for the game. Uh, it gives you uh, your location, your X, Y, and Z location. I'm at negative 211 for my X. Your Y is how the height, the height you're at. We're 63 blocks up, which is around ground level sea level I mean and then we're 161 Z tells you what chunk we're in uh, which way we're facing so we're facing east and that's where the Sun will come up where it tells you what biome you're in we're in the forest biome it tells you how much light you're in And if you go out, and it's getting dark. If you want, if you want trees to, if you like, if we cut down these trees, and then if you want new trees, you just take the saplings and plant them on the ground like that, and then over time they will grow a new tree. But we're, we're clearing this area, so we don't want that. It is dark now, so I just have to watch my back while I do this. There's the skeleton. Let's go up the skeleton. We 
we could kill it. It saw me. Now it's going to come toward me. It's going to start shooting. There we go. If I don't get to it, it's going to hurt me a lot. There we go. Now this other zombie saw me fighting with the skeleton. There we go. I got uh, one heart. They took one heart and it took one and a half hunger. Now your your health will regenerate as long as you are fully fed. So as you can see right now, I'm not my hunger's not full, so I'm not gonna regenerate. So if I eat refill my hunger and it healed me. If I didn't, and I kept getting hurt, and I lose all my hearts, then you die. Oh, baby zombie. Ah, these things move fast, and keep, they just keep hitting you, and hitting you, and hitting you. Die. 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 Another zombie. Die. Die. <laughs> Now in the water, you want a. In order to swim, you have to hold the space bar down. That's also the the thing to jump. If you don't, you sink. And the other, you, those little balls that are disappearing. That's your air. Your air is disappearing. And if your air gets all the way down, you drown. And we need more food. Because I took some damage. There we go. Healed up. There's a creeper. Uh, let's go over here and get it. And when you hit it, you want to hit it and then run back. Otherwise they'll explode. I'll show you how they explode. I have to get far enough away. There we go. And as you can see, they blow up blocks. <laughs> so if like they blow up near your house and it's made of wood, you guys gonna be gone. Oh, my. okay. There's more mobs. There's a skeleton, a spider, and another zombie. Um. Shoot. Let's go this way. Because I don't really want to fight them in the water. It's harder to move in the water. Let's, let's try and get them one by one. Let's get this spider first. He will drop spider eyes and string. There's a string. The zombies dropped rotten flesh. The skeletons will drop bones. Let's get the skeleton. Oh, he's doing a lot of damage. Kill him fast. Kill him fast. And let's run inside so we can heal. That took a lot of damage. And there was an apple that fell off of a tree. One of the trees that uh, we took down. Eat some more. Eel. Let's get some more food. There we go. You want to make sure you, you keep your hunger up and your health and over uh, when when you get hit there's an arrow in, <laughs> there was an arrow in my in, in my um, chest from that skeleton uh, every time you get hit by a zombie or a spider or skeleton or whatever 
or a blast from a creeper, your armor takes damage along with your health. So over time, your armor is going to get depleted, and then you'll have to build new armor. Um, but to slow the slow the damage to the armor, you can enchant them, and you'll need an enchantment table to do that, and that's where the XP uh, comes in play with enchanting. You can make the armor more durable. Uh, you can make your your sword do more damage to the the mobs, or you can um, enchant your tools to make them more durable and faster, more efficient. So we're healed up now, so we can come back out. And as I said that, we just got hit by another skeleton. Yeah, he got trapped now. There we go. Got another arrow. Some more XP. See, now we're at level 7. I just heard a an Enderman. Yeah, that's an Enderman. That made that little noise. Now those do a lot of damage. Uh, the Endermen, do not look directly at them or they will attack you. Otherwise, they are pretty passive. If you do look at them and they notice, <laughs> they will attack and they will do a lot of damage. They can't get me under two blocks, so I can attack them here. And they do teleport. I forgot that. <laughs> See, he's mad. He's mad right now. He's gonna keep coming toward me. Uh, but the Endermen are three blocks high, so he couldn't get me under this two blocks right here. Uh, that's one trick in killing them. Otherwise, he would have killed me. And we didn't we didn't get an ender pearl from him. That's unfortunate. Okay. We don't have any flint yet for arrows, but we do have five arrows. Uh, we need string for a bow. Uh, we need let's see here. How many? I think we need three string for a bow. Pretty sure. Let me, let me check. Let's see if it has it here. Yeah, we need three sticks and three string for a bow. So we need two more string. And we need to get those from spiders. So as you can see, uh, some things you will need to kill monsters to get resources. So eventually you're going to need to kill mobs. <laughs> and if you're playing on multiplayer servers, you in certain servers you, you can fight other people for whatever they have in their inventory. But that's a whole other thing. That's a whole other gameplay. Right now, we're just uh, surviving on our own. Kind of like a uh, castaway thing. Okay. As you can see, our wheat's growing a little more. They're not fully grown yet. So. When they're fully grown, there'll be a lot of yellow and orange, and you'll you'll note it. You'll it'll be pretty clear when they're fully grown. And then this is not full grown yet. Once the stem comes all the way up, and then eventually it'll uh, spawn a pumpkin. Let's see, we got some more seeds. We can plant these. Uh, when you're planting, 
it need these oh that one's fully grown see how it's uh, got black tips it's orange and yellow and then just cl left click it and it'll give you wheat and seeds and it gives you like one or two seeds usually one seed and then you take the seed replant it and it'll grow again uh, like I was saying uh, when when farming uh, your chilled land needs to be within four blocks of a water source otherwise stuff won't grow um, and and the tilled land will turn back to grass if you jump it'll turn back to dirt and then the grass will spread back let's shovel up this gravel and sand and then come over here and shovel up this dirt then we can use that dirt to expand our farm like this just like that now these pumpkins can grow over here the they don't need to be tilled where the pumpkins going to grow so we can just leave them as dirt and then I can till this for seeds that pumpkin will grow there and we'll leave that got a dandelion dandelions are good for uh, yellow dyes or you can mix the yellow with other colors to make secondary colors but we don't need it right now keep the string uh, let's see we got glass stairs let's let's keep this food on us because it's getting a little low apple store the wheat gravel and decide what wall store the sand I think our next step we need to start mining so let's just go down this cave down to the very bottom and then we want to keep going down because further down is where we're gonna find gold and diamonds make sure you have enough torches too because you're gonna be using a lot so it probably be good to get the rest of this coal put the torch up to see what we're doing as you can see the coal just uh, when you break the block it drops the coal and then when you break the stone it just drops the cobblestone uh, items down the ground here's some iron grab the iron then uh, we want to come back up this way so we're gonna I want to block this off so we can come back up just dig your way down um, it's a, a very 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 bad idea to dig down straight down and the reason is you don't know what's right below you and if you dig down to a cave 
and you break through, you're going to drop. And it, it'll hurt you and possibly kill you. And you don't know what you're dropping into. Also, there is lava underground. And if you drop down into lava, you will die. You will burn and die. And you will lose all your items because any items dropped in lava are gone. They just burn away. They melt away. And they're just gone forever. So if you got a lot of good stuff on you and you burn in lava, you lost it all. Okay, we found some gravel. And we got some flint. So now we can make some more arrows. And we just need uh, more string for that bow. Now sand... Sand and gravel um, are not like the other blocks, like uh, dirt and stone and whatnot. Like, see here, this stone stays there. It doesn't drop down. But if you go over to this gravel and you destroy this block, the bl every, every gravel block above it drops down. And that's the same with sand. So if we destroy this dirt, and then this one, they all drop down. So just be careful. Um, like if you're below gravel, like right below it, and you're uh, shoveling it away, it's it's gonna drop so and it it could kill you if you get trapped under it so it'll suffocate you like that <laughs> I was just saying if you were below there right under here it'll it'll all fall on you and hurt you and eventually could kill you. But I had this little opening right here, which I could have moved over if it was falling on me. If this wasn't here and I was here and it fell, that would have killed me. Because I don't believe I could have jumped up. Get that last iron. Oh, there's more. Iron is good. Iron is good. Good for tools, good for armor. Until you get enough diamonds. But diamonds are pretty rare. So it takes a while to mine them. And we just found our first gold. Awesome. Now gold you can only uh, mine with an iron pickaxe or a diamond. You cannot mine gold with a stone pickaxe. Unlike iron. And stone. And, and stuff like that. So... Gold doesn't have too many um, things it's useful for, so there are a few things. Okay, now in order to get to... Oh, we just hit bedrock. Bedrock is the very bottom of the map. And it covers the entire bottom of the map. So, like, if you go down here, eventually you're going to get to that level where it's all bedrock. And the bedrock you cannot destroy. You can sit here and, and pick and pick and pick and pick forever and ever, and it will never break in survival. That's as far as you can, you can mine down. But the diamonds spawn between, let's see, we're at level 6, down here is level 3, that's level 2, 1, 0, and below that is the void, the nothingness, and you just fall and die.
if you ever get down there. Which, in the end, you can... There's a big void. Um, but uh, diamonds spawn between levels 1 and, I think, 15 or 16, which should be about right here. So, from here down, diamonds will spawn. A, a really good level would be a level 11. Um, it's about where they spawn the most. But like I said, they're pretty rare, so it might take a while for you to find your first diamond. Or you might get lucky and find it pretty quick. But, they are rare, so it does take a little while to get them. And I just mined some lapis. Lapis is good for, well, you, you have to have it for enchanting. And then it's also good for blue dyes. And then, uh, also down here you'll find redstone. Redstone, uh, you have to have for... <laughs> Um, anything dealing with redstone, which would be, uh, like, um, circuits and whatnot. It's, it's basically, um, uh, used for circuits, uh, as I'll explain later on in maybe another episode. It's basically uh, power, and you can power uh, you can power a door to open or close. You can uh, hook it up with switches, and um, it it really has a, a lot of possibilities with it. P uh, some people have made complete uh, circuit boards to do uh, simple uh, calculations or but anyways just gotta keep mining and mining and mining and mining um, eventually you get some diamonds and then you can make diamond tools, diamond armor you can enchant the diamond tools to uh, make them faster and more durable. And got some gravel here. Uh oh. Uh, my pickaxe broke. I need a new one. Um, I really don't want to go all the way up just to make a new one. Oh, I don't have any iron on me. Crap. So, we can either go all the way back up to the house, or we can make it here by making cobblestone. Making a furnace. Oops. If you don't want to, um, like I was trying to place this furnace on this crafting table, but it wouldn't let me because when you cl right click on the crafting table, it takes you into it. Uh, if you want to place something on the crafting table, you have to hold down shift and then click, and then it will place that item. Unless craft or uh, smelt this iron, and then we can craft uh, a new pickaxe. You'll probably go through a few iron pickaxes before you find any diamond. M maybe less, maybe more. It, it just all depends, because you don't know where that diamond is. And you just have to mine until you find it. So.
Let's craft. Oh, we need sticks. All right, let's craft that. And let's let's do a uh, iron uh, iron uh, shovel because this one's about broken. And then let's do one more pickaxe. There we go. And we can just destroy this. It'll drop the stuff. Destroy this. Just keep those with us. Oh, I didn't make the other pickaxe. Crap. There we go. Alright, now we can keep going. There's some more redstone. If you have headphones on or you have your, your volume up, uh, when you're down here mining, you'll hear some noises. And that would be mobs underground in caves. So if you hear a lot of noises when you're when you're mining, there's probably some caves near you. You could you could go and try and find them and uh, explore the caves. Some caves are very very um, extensive, and you could, you could get lost in some of these caves. But you could also find a lot of gold or a lot of gold, iron, and coal in these caves. Because when you get when you're exploring the caves, they're they're just gonna be out. Oh, diamond! We found our first diamond. Look at that! Oh yeah! Let's see. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. That was a good find. That's a good find. Six diamonds. That's awesome. <laughs> They usually don't have more than eight, um, but six is good. Six is good. We can make a uh, diamond pickaxe, a diamond sword, and then we'd have uh, one diamond left over. So let's let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see here. Uh, diamond pickaxe, or you could make a diamond helmet or boots, or but we'd rather have the diamond pickaxe, and I'll show you why. Need more sticks. Let's do the sword. We can, we can use the irons for backup. Let's uh, the stones for backup. Alright. Let's see here. I'm going to show you this. Iron pickaxe. Diamond pickaxe. Much faster, much faster, and it doesn't it doesn't break as fast either. It's more durable. Oh crap! I thought that was my torches. Sorry, I don't have any more torches. Uh oh. Let's make more torches. Here we go. Okay. There. Now also, I just heard some lava. So be very, very, very careful when you're mining. Don't mine too fast. Because if you do, you could fall in some lava. There's some iron.
some redstone and gold. Uh oh, our inventory is full. We don't need the shovel. So, we need to go empty our inventory or take some stuff out. Otherwise, uh, anything anything we break, we're not going to be able to pick up. So, we need to go up and out. Come on, come on, come on. Run, run, run. Go up. Now, if you make stairways going back up, it'll be a lot faster. Instead of jump, 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 jump. <laughs> Hungry. Okay. Uh... Look, there's the sun right above us. It's going on, what, 11.30? Okay, empty. Uh-oh. Our chest is full. Which means we need another chest. Uh, now, if you want, you can make a double chest. Let's let's make three. And then uh crap. Whatever. We can put one right above this chest. Oh crap, can't open it. If you have a block above a chest, you won't be able to open the chest. Except for some certain blocks. Um, but you can put a chest right next to a chest and make it a double chest, a large chest. Um, but that's as big as they can go. If you put one here, you can't. That's as big as they go. But that should be sufficient for now. Let's dump this stuff. Let's smelt our ores. Like so. I dump the stuff we don't need right at the moment. Let's let's dump that diamond definitely so we don't lose it. Keep it safe. Um, these we can dump in here. Oh no, we need that shovel. No, wait a minute. We can use that. One diamond for a shovel, diamond shovel. There we go. Um, we're gonna need some more food. Eventually, we're getting low. Shop for any creepers that might have been up here. Now uh, we got a little bit more wheat. Replant the seeds. I uh, see this one. Uh, that stem is that pumpkin stem is fully grown. So now, eventually, it will plop down a pumpkin. Oh, I don't want that there. Oh, and uh, right after I said that, it mm, spawned one. Looky there. Awesome. Okay, let's break this pumpkin. And it gives you a pumpkin. And then if you take that pumpkin, you can make it into four pumpkin seeds. And then grow four whole new ones. And so on and so forth. But you can use the pumpkin for um, pumpkin pie. Or you can, where does element? And the, about the only c 
<laughs> useful thing for this is, as we saw earlier, the Enderman that we killed, if you look straight at him with a pumpkin on your head, he won't see you. So you can look right at him, and he won't attack. So it's kind of a good way, I guess, to go through the end, the end world without having to get attacked by a bunch of Endermen, because they that's all that spawns in the end is a lot of Endermen, and then of course there's the Ender Dragon. So take that off. You don't need it. I don't need it right now. <laughs> Okay. So there's oh, there's another wheat. Okay, now we can make some bread from this wheat. And to make bread, just three wheat to make bread, and you can eat that, or you can take the wheat and use that to feed to cow, cows or sheep to um, have them make baby cows and baby sheep, which grow up to be big cows and big sheep. And then you can kill the big cows and the big sheep for resources, and so on and so forth. So eventually we want cows, because we need leather from the cows to make books, and we need books to make bookshelves, and the bookshelves you need to place around uh, the crafting table in order to uh, enchant. And enchanting, you enchant tools, weapons, armor, books. And so that's what Minecraft is all about. Crafting, mining, building. <sighs> and so, oh, we're going to need a bigger house. <laughs> this is a pretty tiny house. As you can see, we uh, had to make another ch bigger chest. And uh, if we need more, there's no room to put it. So, what we could do is we could build a wood house, or we could build a cobblestone house, or a stone house, or a combination of things. You could build with granite. Uh, gravel, although I wouldn't suggest it. <laughs> um, let's do... Let's smelt some cobblestone. And that will smelt it into stone. Like the stone we mined to get the cobblestone. Just a, a smooth stone. And then there's my iron. We can make some more, oh, we can make some more, um, let's close that so we don't get attacked. Uh, we can make some more armor now. Let's do leggings. That's the next best thing to a chest plate. And then we have seven more. Let's make a helmet. And then you need four for boots, but we only have two. Yeah, we only have two. That's okay. Leggings, helmet, that brought our armor up. And now we have a diamond sword, so that'll be easier to kill some mobs. So we're, we're a little bit more protected now. The next best thing would be uh, diamond armor. Let's see how many hits this takes. Bam. 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 
Three hits, he's down. One hit, you're down. Now, after you enchant, uh, after you enchant your diamond sword to like um, uh, sharpness four or something, then these mobs you'll be able to kill on one swipe. Now, if I had a bow and air, if I had a bow, I could kill the skeleton from here. But we got three, three zombies. One, two, three. One, two, three. Like before, with the stone, stone sword, it took me like five or six hits, something like that. So it's easier to kill mobs now, and. Uh, there's two creepers over there too. This guy's just chilling in the water. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> and as you can see, the sugar cane grew grew back up. Oh, oh the skeleton's on. He's gonna come after me now. He's not gonna stop unless I go get far away from from him out of sight. Once you get far enough away from a mob, then they'll stop coming after you. See? Right, this skeleton gave up. Oh, that right there that you saw in the water was a squid. Where'd he go? I just saw him. Where'd he go? I don't... He must have disappeared. But yeah, there was a, a black squid in the water. You kill him, you'll get... Uh, that's how you get black... Make black dyes. And the dyes you use to dye wool or clay. Ah! Get this skeleton. Bam. 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 And see, when he was shooting at me, he was only hitting me, like, down one heart instead of, like, three or four. There's another one right here. Alright, we need to heal. Alright, we need another spider, because we need more string. Well, we need two more spiders, because we need two strings to make a bow. Oh, there's the squids. See the squids? Squiddies, squiddies. And there you got a black dye, two black dye. And get out of the water before your air runs out, or you'll drown. Another wheat. Uh, the uh, zombies drop rotten flesh. And uh, do not eat the rotten flesh or it will poison you. And you don't want that. So, rotten flesh is pretty useless. Unless you give it to a friend and tell them to eat it. Which, if they do, that's their fault. We <laughs> got three, three wheat. Okay. Let's... Let's get uh, wood planks so we can start building a house. Wood 
links and then stone. I like to use stone or cobblestone for a foundation. We could put it right here. And then uh, our little cave here could be in our basement. Too big. Just keep it simple. Unless you don't want it simple. If you want to go all out, go all out. <laughs> Alright, that's good. And then, uh, we could use, well, here, let's do this. We had some birch wood. Where is it? There it is. Take the but the birch wood, use planks, and then put this down as the floor. That needs more. floor foundation now we need some walls uh, and then we need to figure out where to put the door let's just put the door let's say here we'll make it a double door we had two doors left right here and then put the put them right here, and then uh, let's just make uh, a little porch, and we need a couple stairs. Let's just do these. And let's just go like that. Why not? Oh, I need some more cobble. go and these are stairs as you can see makes it easier I'm not jumping to get up like right here I'd have to jump to get up by hitting space you don't have to do that on stairs it'll just automatically send you up and then for corners the stairs will actually automatically change to wrap around which is pretty cool and you have to you have to you have to place it in the right position against the other blocks like if you want it like that you'll have to hit it in this lower half of this block because if you put it any higher it's going to put it upside down. Okay, just right click to open the doors, or you can make uh, pressure plates, and you can place them right behind them on the inside, and then when you step on them, when you step on them, it'll automatically open these doors. Just like that. 
because the pressure plates give off uh, a signal. And what I was saying earlier with the redstone, the redstone can carry that signal. Lights up, the redstone lights up. That's a signal. So if you took So if you took a pressure plate and let's say you put it over here. You step on it, a signal goes nowhere. Put red connect redstone and take the redstone and lead it up to your door. Then when you when you step on it, the signal will go to the door and the door will open. And as soon as you get off, the signal is is uh, cut off and the door closes. So that's why the pressure plate opens the door. When but you have to put it right next to the door, otherwise it won't work without redstone. So we're just going to put these right behind it on the inside because I'm not going to put them on the outside. And the reason why is if you put them on the outside, then anything that steps on them is going to open the door. So if a creeper, if you're inside and a creeper comes along, oh, Postman 713's in that house. I want to go blow him up. He's going to walk up here to the door, step on the pressure plate. The doors are going to open. He's going to snake right up behind you, and he's going to blow you up along with your house. So that's why. So we're going to fish. Let's uh, fish these walls. Like that. Let's go up one more. Like that. Cover over the door. Make it well protected. Let's see here. Let's just do this. We need some wall space. And these spaces I'm leaving open, I'm going to use for windows from the glass we made. Now, there's two ways you can use the glass. This place is a crafting table right there. I don't have the glass on me. All right. There we go. There's okay. Two ways you can use the glass. You can use them as a block, like that, full block. You can see through. Or if you take them and you make glass panes, six glass, make sixteen glass panes, then you can place them here. And there you go. Instead of being full block, it's uh, really thin. But you can still see through it just like the glass. I like the glass panes better. It makes for a more uh, realistic window. And when you break glass, it disappears. It doesn't give you it back. So, Because once glass is broken, it's broken. <laughs> so let's finish these windows. We're going to need more. One more of these should do it. And I'm going to leave that like that so I can get back up. And so we can make the roof. Now, what kind of roof do we want? Hmm. That's a good question. 
Let's make a cobble buff. Yeah. Yeah. Why not? I like to make my house of from a variety of building materials, not just one. Some people just make a cobble house and, or just a all wood house. It's just not very appealing. Like this one, it's all wood and it's very tiny. Not very not very appealing at all. So we got stone, birch wood floors, uh, oak wood walls, and usually I like to make the corners um, logs, like oak logs or spruce logs going up. Makes it look very nice. But we're just gonna do the oak walls. And then I'll put a cobblestone roof. Just a simple roof, not very complex. You could make them complex and all... Uh, I don't know. But we're just going to do simple. Like I said, if you, if you place... If you're, you're facing this way, so it's going to be from side to side. And if you place it on this half of the block... <laughs> or dogs. Then it's going to place it going up that way. If you do it the other way... Oh, it still doesn't. But if you... It's going to place whatever direction you're facing. If that makes sense. 